Specifically, the joint communications support elements core mission is to provide premier communications anywhere around the planet. So that might be from a ship, that might be from an airplane, that might be on the ground. So we are essentially the first responders for any emergency around the planet. So that's going to drive requirements for specialized weapons training, specialized driving training, specialized combat lifesaver skills, things that typical airmen aren't getting in most uh, AFSCs. There's a lot of uh, probably inter-service fighting about who provides communications uh, here or there. We fill those seams that don't really fit cleanly with the service components. I know for a lot of people, like we don't think about communications. It's a support element. You know, it's a support function. It's working. You don't ever question it. The only time you question it is when it's broken. But the amount of work that goes into the backside, actually maintaining it, providing it, setting it up. Um, it's a lot. It is one of the three basic tasks probably in the military, move, shoot, and communicate. So before you can do uh, moving and shooting, you have to be able to establish communications with whoever's going to do that. So essentially, if you can't communicate, then, then everything else breaks down. Uh, what we bring to the table, though, is secure communications that we know uh, ride over uh, the DOD and commercial backbone. And uh, we can guarantee communications anywhere around the planet. And I, I would say internally to JCSE, the phrase would be, make it happen. Well, we don't do this. Well, make it happen. And if it's something really outside the realm of the normal, they'll come to us and say, how can we do this? And we'll engineer the solution and pass it on to the team and they'll implement it. We operate in some pretty dangerous locations around the planet. They typically get specific uh, shooting courses, weapons familiarization a lot more than, than our typical Air Force requirements. I woke up every single day knowing that what I was going to be doing made an actual impact that day. As opposed to, you know, being back in garrison and you're training, you're doing this, you're doing that. Yeah, you know, it matters long term, but you don't see that immediate impact. Down there, if something happened and I didn't, you know, we didn't fix it right away, there was an impact. The joint communication support element, in my mind, is the premier organization to work with when you talk about all services and all components. So there is no other organization that is like what we do. We are all equals in treatment. So this is really a model for the future of the Department of Defense.